ladies, this is really special. Um, I want to start with you. you I mean, it's going to be even more special for you. How do you think you'll be feeling on Saturday? On Sunday, sorry. Um, I think there'll be a roller coaster of emotions. Um, especially like seeing a lot of uh, women and families, um, especially with their kids who have, you know, been through cancer, currently having treatment or have close ones who have um, faced cancer. I think I probably will get emotional a lot on the day, um, especially like knowing what I've been through. I, I don't um, want anyone else to experience like my experience with breast cancer and with my mum, but um, no, it'll be nice to meet people who are going, who've gone through and are going through a similar situation to what I have, but yeah, it will be an emotional day, I think. If you can, if you're comfortable, tell us about your mum and she must have loved watching you play footy. Oh, she, there's um, a few photos of her, you can see her always screaming in the background when we kick a goal and I always have teammates at the end of the game saying, oh, I heard your mum screaming when I kicked that goal and... Um, she, yeah, was my number one supporter. No matter what sport I played, she was always there, the loudest in the in the uh, crowd. And um, yeah, no, she was amazing. She always anything I wanted to achieve, she always was right there beside me, pushing me to help achieve it. Um, yeah, she was incredible. She was had the biggest laugh, and you know, most best like going through her situation. She was so positive, and. Um, I guess when you see the strongest person you know going through what she's faced, it's it's hard to watch and you just want to do the best for her to make her proud. Right. Sinead, I mean, just, just hearing that and being a part of it, uh, as part of the Melbourne Footy Club, does that make you emotional as well? Yeah, really honoured. Like, uh, Melbourne have a 19-year relationship with PCNA and it just shows the support that they give to anyone who's affected by breast cancer and listening to, you know, to Sophie and for us to get to wear the pink socks and um, for 10,000 people to come here in the MCG to recognise people who are affected by breast cancer. I think it's a really special, special occasion and it just shows how powerful sport is of bringing people together and in any way that you can provide support to people like Sophie uh, um, you know, and her family. So I just think it's a really special day um, and we're delighted to be part of it. Are you ready to defend your premiership? Not far now. Yeah, we're just we both have had practice matches last weekend and it's just so exciting. It's you're going up against your your teammates and now you get to go up against opposition. So we've had a really good pre season and um you know, I think the practice match you're still a good few learnings in terms of, you know, you're a bit nervous, a bit cobwebs, um, but I think it's really exciting to be a like a woman playing sport now, especially if you, with the FIFA World Cup. So um, we just want to represent like, and show, showcase what AFLW is. And um, we just want to get as many people to our games and support it. Is it empowering as female athletes, you just referenced the World Cup, how many eyeballs are on women playing sport at the moment? Absolutely. Um, I saw a post the other day of the FIFA Women's World Cup from like uh, a photo from 13 years ago when they had barely any crowd and they had a, um, a game where there wasn't a crowd brought in to basically selling out all the stadiums that they're playing in now 13 years later. It definitely gives you hope for all other women's sport that it, it can grow and it can be massive and to watch the Tillies go through to the semi for the first time for both the men and the women is just like I got emotional watching them go through and like I barely watch soccer but this year I've, yeah it's the most soccer I've watched in my life and it's just exciting it's yeah it gives you hope for women's sport like yeah so you know, just the 20 penos like in any game when you have top class people doing penalties um, and it was just so exciting I'm from Ireland and now I'm a Tilly's fan you know what I mean <laughs> they've converted me um, in terms of all of those women and their stories so yeah it's really exciting to be